Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your beautiful location, guys. How are you all doing? My people, as usual, I was moving around this, uh, our blue app, when I came across this very video on the, the freeze page. I saw this video and I saw what this guy you're looking at here said concerning uh, our Pime. And I was like, I don't know how people reasons. Like, seriously. Even Daddy Freeze himself, that is a comment he made concerning our Queen May, which I cannot, even up to now, I'm still finding it very difficult to comprehend. My people, this guy said that uh, Queen May was uh, literally pushed to Pa Yoedoche, that Yoedoche was in his 20s, that whatever that is that went on or that transpired between our Queen and Yoedoche was practically a mistake, that it was in kind of when a, a 20 years old child uh, accidentally got a woman pregnant and this person was forced to marry the woman because the woman was already pregnant for for him so this guy was literally saying that whatever uh, uh you edoche and we may have shared is not out of love that uh, you edoche's family practically forced him into marrying we may he went further to explain that whatever we may and the UA Doche was doing has ended a long time. She understand like stuff like that, that UA Doche was not happy in the marriage because that UA Doche was uh, literally forced to marry our Queen May. And that brings me to the question I always ask. If you're saying that UA Doche was forced because he got Queen May uh, pregnant, that then UA Doche was forced to marry our Queen, Okay, then he stayed in the marriage for 16 years. Like, if you're being forced to marry somebody, why? what happens to one, two, three, four years or five years of that marriage? Why don't you say, no, this is not what I want for myself? Although in the comment section, I had people saying eh, that for a long time, eh, yeah, the church has already eh, called off this marriage, that our queen was the one insisting, my people. If you guys are making comments like this, let you guys also not forget that we all are in this app. And we all were here when Yoedoche by himself came here to introduce our queen to all of us. I always make mention of this because I love judging people from what they say by, them, by themselves, from what they say with their own mouth. Yoedoche was the one who brought this pretty lady out here. He introduced this lady to us and he told us that when he doesn't have a surname, when he is, he, he is a nobody, that this lady stood by him. That he's, in fact, he's practically living because of this, this, uh, our Queen May. And you guys come out here to be like, this woman was forced on you, Edoche. He said that, uh, that the pet Edoche and uh, our Queen's father, that they are friends. Yes. Which that the pet Edoche also mentioned uh, on his interview, the last interview he granted. He said Queen May's father is his friend. But this guy is trying to make it look like, not trying to make it look like he, he said that that because our daddy Peter Odoche is is a uh, 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 remains a uh, father's friend that was why daddy Peter Odoche forced you Odoche to marry Queen May. That is not like you Odoche uh, was in love with Queen May, or it's not like you Odoche and Queen May was dating. That it was something that happened one or like one night stand or one you know stuff like that. That like you slept with your, your father's uh, friend daughter and this person got pregnant and because your father doesn't want anything that will come between his friendship and this and his friend, he pushed you into marrying this woman. This is what you, this guy came out to explain to us. Knowing fully well that that the freeze has a large platform, that anything you say on this plat on that the freeze uh, platform we go far, goes far and you know that stuff like this are not true. This is not true. How can you be forced to marry a woman you don't love? And then, okay, let's assume that, yes, you got this person pregnant and you were told to marry this person. If you don't have any atom of love for this person, I'm not sure you will agree to go into that marriage. Even though you agree to go into that marriage for one reason or the other, it's not going to take this long. That marriage is not going to take this long. Do you understand? And there is something else I want you guys to understand. Before you guys start saying things like this, remember that it's not that you had to wake up one morning and said, I want to take a second wife. That would have been a different issue. 
But this one is that you and Edoche got a woman pregnant outside his home. As a top, like as a married woman, he went ahead to get another woman pregnant. Do you understand? And when this person refuses to, Yotago, when he she refuses to do away with that pregnancy, he now push you and Edoche to come and announce her to the world as the second wife. Only the both of them knows what is going on how what in fact only you doesn't knows what judy austin is holding against him because this is not how a proper marriage is done if you had actually wanted a second wife he would have gone to take a second wife he would have discussed this thing with his family especially his first wife queen may do you understand remember that daddy Pete Edoche also made it very clear that he did not accompany his son to go and marry as a matter of fact that he doesn't even know he, he has no idea that his, his son took a second wife, that it was an outsider that informed him. What is this saying to you? And then coming to you, Daddy Freeze, you said that what we made is selfish. And up till now, I'm finding it very difficult to understand what you meant by that. Like, I'm finding it very difficult to comprehend. Daddy Freeze, with all due respect, sir, what do you mean that our we may is selfish? How? What makes her selfish? Is it because she practically refused to share the man she loves with anybody? Because I don't understand what exactly makes her selfish. Because to the best of my knowledge, any woman that truly loves a man would not ever want to share this man with anybody. Even when a woman is in love with you, once they see, even if you're not married to these people, you don't have anything to do with these people, but they constantly see this person close to you or talking to you or, or that they get jealous. This is women for you. Eh? Queen Men and Zoifia, the woman is fighting for her rights and she's fighting for a just cause. And she is not even making noise. She's not even chasing cloud with these things. She does these things quietly. And you, Daddy Freeze, knowing that you have a very large platform, you came out here and you, you dropped this kind of comment for a woman that has been through a lot. You say she is selfish. What do you mean? No, put yourself in her shoe. If she were you or if you were her instead, what would you have done? Or what would you have her do? I don't understand that statement that he frees. How do you mean she is selfish? Okay, you wanted her to agree to be numbered. Is that what you may, is that why you you say she is selfish? You wanted her something that is obviously against her belief. And regarding to the kind of marriage she did also, that will show you that this woman is a wise woman because she have noticed that I cannot be or she have rather told herself that she cannot be in a polygamy family. And that was why she took that bold step from the beginning because you know a lot of women all they want to care about is come and marry me, come and marry me. They don't think about the future. But this woman from the day one, she thought about the future. That was why she did the kind of marriage she, she, she did, which does not allow you, Edoche, to take a second wife unless they are properly divorced. Is that what makes her a selfish woman? Remember that everybody in this life has likes and dislikes. This is her own personal life. She don't want to be numbered. She don't want to go into any form of polygamy. Do you understand? And therefore, she has said it all that lets you Edoche divorce her so she can go her way, so that you Edoche can go on with uh, uh, Judy Austin. Is that also what is making her selfish? Because this comment actually weaked me. I don't understand where it's coming from, Daddy Freeze. Honestly, I don't understand where it's coming from, sir. Please, before we judge people, especially people, innocent people like our Queen May. Especially women that has practically been through a lot and still going through a lot. Please, let's be mindful of our speeches and works. That was too heavy of you and this guy that came to your interview. Or is it the fact that she said that uh, Judy Austin is going to pay her 100 million for Columbine, her husband? Is that what makes her selfish? Is it? Because I don't understand it. If that is the reason you are referring to her as a selfish person, it simply means that you guys are not like you guys are not reasoning well because you all were here when this woman was going through a lot you guys were here 
when Judy Austin and Yuedeche was practically oppressing this woman, you guys were here when she lost her child, and Judy Austin and Yuedeche practically turned to Celine Dion. every now and then, regardless of how it makes this woman feel. If I had rock one mouth, let us learn how to call a spread a spread. This is not right at all. Which part of this story now has made this woman selfish? Like, or is it that people do not understand the meaning of English that they speak these days? Like, seriously, no, that he freeze. This one is a no no. And that guy that actually came to your uh, uh, interview or your live stream, eh eh, that guy now come no going on colors. I'm telling you, my people, I said, let me bring this thing to your notice to see if I'm the only one this interview is actually hurting. Or is there any other person that it, it, it's hurting? Eh? Please don't forget to drop your take for me in the comment section and don't forget to share this video so that all the women out, uh, fans out there and all the right-thinking women out there will see this thing and actually know if this is right or wrong. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. One love, guys.